Hi, hey. Well, well, hello there, um, all my Fightback Media fans on Fightback Media on YouTube. We appreciate you being uh, subscribers. We appreciate you being here. I want to talk to you a little bit this Saturday. I don't get a chance to do these very often, um, which is why this is the first one of these that I've done. I want to come to you about something I think is really important. Uh, I um, did a Facebook Live that you can't find right now. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it's interesting because it's one of those things that's not, it's, it, it's not pro-Trump. So it's amazing that it, uh, it, it, it disappeared. I think I did something wrong. I tried to record it in, I tried to record it like this. And then when I went to try to share it, it you know, it, it disappeared. Uh, I think it had probably more to do to me, with me than Zuckerberg. But I wanted to talk about Donald Trump. And I want to talk about the concept of principle and rhetoric. Um, earlier in the week, uh, we found out that LeBron James who's now playing basketball uh, in, in, in L.A. for the Lakers, we knew, most of us knew it was just a matter of time before he got there, uh, gave a whole bunch of money uh, to, um, to, to this school and was going to pay for the kids' tuitions and uniforms and, and take care of, of, of the parents and do all this stuff with, all the, you know, with, with some of the money that he's earned and is going to earn as a member of the L.A. Lakers. Good on you, LeBron. Uh, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still Team Jordan because I'm 57 years old. Uh, but you know what? Good on you. And um, this back and forth tit tat thing that you had with President Trump. Frankly, I don't care. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people care, but I don't, I, I don't care. Whatever. Um, so the president uh, recently. Uh, I think yeah, probably last night, uh, while he was on Ambien, <laughs> decided that he would respond to an interview that uh, LeBron James did with Don Lemon, um, drunken Don Lemon, um, and LeBron James. There you go. And I'm gonna I'll, I'll, I'm gonna read that to you. It says, LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. Uh, made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike. Not necessary. Okay. Just not necessary. You know, in, in, a, in, in a politically strategic way, just not necessary. It's like hitch kick into the to the end zone to score a touchdown. Um, when every when everybody on, on the opposing team has broken their leg, it's not necessary. No one's chasing you. You've already won. You know we are about two years in to. Uh, the Trump presidency and the Trump legacy and there's a bunch of things that the president has done right. You, you, there's a bunch of things that the president has done right. Um, his visit here to Tampa was I think I think important. Um, he signed the Perkins Grant, I mean the Perkins Act that uh, renewed grants to technical uh, and vocational schools. Uh, good thing. Drew a large crowd that evening at the amphitheater. Um, super duper. You know what? Re reunited kids with their, you know, with kids with their families, even though um, these people are entering our country illegally, did did the right thing. Did a bunch of the right thing. First tried to make Congress do the right thing, but Congress is gutless and spineless, and just couldn't. So he did the right thing. A lot of good stuff. Met with a bunch of black pastors um, last week. Uh, at the beginning of his presidency, met with the presidents of historically black colleges and universities. Uh, a bunch of a bunch of good stuff. This, however, was stupid. 
and unnecessary. At some point, you have to act like you won. Oh, by the way, Mr. President, you won. And by the way, if you don't stick your foot in it, really stick your foot in it, you're going to win again. We're, we're a, more, a, little, a little more than two years out, and if you really don't stick your foot in it, you're going to win again. At some point, we have to be above the rhetoric. The rhetoric is sort of like tickling to our ears. We kind of like it because the left is all about the rhetoric. The left is all about all that and have been, and have been mean and terrible um, and awful and said terrible things. You know, when Rosie O'Donnell questions if, you know what, if Barron Trump is, is a little bit autistic, possibly, there's something wrong with him. It was out of bounds, truly, horribly out of bounds. Kathy Griffin uh, with the, um, you know, with the severed head of Donald Trump, clearly out of bounds, clearly. You know, Snoop Dogg shooting Donald Trump in cartoon um, in his video, clearly out of bounds. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys come up with, with more. But through all that, Donald Trump won the election and is, and is, and is clicking the check boxes on promises made, promises kept. Promises made, promises kept. Even, e even still, Mr. President, you've won. Now I just wish you start acting like it. My name is William Lawson. Uh, welcome to Fight Back Media and fightbackmedia.com. Um, until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We will see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.